Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to solve one numerical problem related to the soil mechanics. So in today's lecture, the problem states that a soil sample, we have a soil sample and it has the wide ratio of E 0.6, the degree of saturation of 77% this soil sample and specific gravity of 2.7 and it has been asked that find that find water content and dry density of the soil sample so we have to write first of all the given data and the required data here now the given data is for this soil sample problem the given data is that the soil has a wide ratio of e wide ratio is 0 0.6 Degree of saturation is 77%. It is 77%. Or we divide it by 100. So we got 77 divided by 100. We got 0 0.77 is the degree of saturation in decimal. Okay. Then the other thing is specific gravity of the soil sample. The specific gravity of the soil sample is also known to us here. It is represented by GS and it is equal to 2.70. Now to find out the water content W, it is unknown to us and the dry density of the soil sample is also unknown to us. So we have to find water content and dry density for this soil sample. So we can simply use the equation where it has the relationship between the parameters that are known to us and the parameters that are unknown to us. So for this we have one formula which is E into S equal to W into GS. Now this is one formula to use to find out the unknown parameter. How? Here is the wide ratio multiply it with the degree of saturation is equal to the water content into this is multiplication sign I mean here water water content into specific gravity. So by this equation we can find our unknown how for example, this W water content is unknown to us. So we will shift this in, in this way that E into S e into S will remain its own position and we will shift this GS into the another side and it will come into the denominator. So it will become GS. So now we will put the simple values because Y ratio is known to us. The degree of saturation is known to us. Is the 77% Y ratio is known to us and here GS which is the specific gravity of the soil sample is also known to us. So here we will get E is 0 0.6 here 0 0.6 is this degree of saturation which is 0 0.77 dividing that by specific gravity which is 2.00 2.70 so by doing this and multiplying it with the 100% because the water content is always expressed in percentage so we got this and now we will multiply this with the 100, multiplying it with 100%. So we will get our water content in percentage. So it is 17.1%. So this is our required value here. The water content is 17.1% for this soil sample. Now the next one is, this is the A. The B is dry density of the soil sample. How to find out the dry density of the soil sample? So there are different formulas, but we have to use those formula where we, where the formula can help us to find out the dry density. For example, we have won this formula, dry density is equal to the gamma dry bulk density into 1 plus W. Now in this equation, we don't know the bulk density of the soil sample, so we cannot use this equation. So we have to look for another formula and there is one formula or equation which state G is into gamma W dividing by 1 plus E. So now in this equation, the specific gravity of the soil sample is known to us, which is 2.70 gamma W, which is unit weight of the water, which is 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter. This value you should keep in mind. Okay. This is for the unit weight of water, which is known to us. And, I, the y, and also the wide ratio of the soil sample is given to us, which is 0 0.6. So now we all we knows all these parameters so we just put this value here g is 2.70 multiplying gamma w which is 9.81 is the unit weight of the water and then 1 plus e which is 0 0.6 
So we will find out the dry density of the soil sample and it comes out to be 16.55 kN per cubic meter. So now this is the second unknown to us here which is the dry density of the soil sample. And that has the wide ratio of 0 0.6, the saturation is 77% and the specific gravity of 2.7. So hope you guys understood how to find out these parameters and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.